classical formula and the formula formula. There is no difference. Of course, <coughs> neglecting quantum corrections. And there must be a relative to correction also. Yes. So, if you like, if you like, if you like, if you like. so since you raise this question, this is of historical importance. This was known from the days of Radha. Alright? <coughs> this was calculated by Mott, which is known as the relativistic correction. If B goes to zero, this correction reduces to one. So this was this times that is the Mott correction to Radha for scattering. And this f of q square comes when you take into account the fact that the proton is not a point. Maybe it is represented by a charge density, let us say. Rho. So in Rutherford days, only this factor was done. And if you look at the elementary textbooks like what we have already seen, Bizar or something, they calculate this exactly this formula. But it turns out that to the lowest order, Quantum mechanics gives you exactly, quantum field theory gives you exactly this, but not this. This quantum field theory is a relative stick theory. You get the full mod mod cross section you can have. Yes?
you are right. In some sense, it is calculating. Everybody knows the total charge in radius is there. Everybody knows what its value is. But reproducing them from the first principle, like I could reproduce f of q from a assumption of a simple static charge. Can I calculate the real thing? I think it's hard. So tomorrow basically I will talk a little bit about this Rosenbluth formula and then I will go to part of which is very much essential if you want to calculate anything.